During aerobic respiration, glucose is broken down into pyruvate through the process of glycolysis as described before, and this yields 2 ATP. This stage of respiration does not require oxygen and is therefore anaerobic. If aerobic respiration is to take place, the pyruvate is further broken down into carbon dioxide and water, and this stage does require oxygen, and this is why it's referred to as being aerobic. This second stage produces 34 ATP, a much larger yield of ATP than glycolysis. Therefore, in total during aerobic respiration, 36 ATP are produced. As a reminder, since aerobic respiration involves glycolysis, glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm, while this second stage here takes place in the matrix of the mitochondrion. Overall, aerobic respiration can be represented in an equation, which would be C6H12O6, otherwise known as glucose, plus 6O2, produces 6CO2 plus 6H2O along with energy in the form of ATP, 36 for aerobic respiration, or energy that's lost as heat.